Gotcha. I know you are. Yes. Welcome to Brawlhalla. Codevar. Cassidy. Orion. Lord Brat. And we are back. We're going to start showing you those quarterfinals, but before we do, we want to update one more game that just came in. So Dragon actually took over Spleen, and he is going to move on to face Exo in the quarterfinals. So yeah, guys, our first match here is going to be Tybo versus Schnooby. Yep. Scooby Snacks. Hopefully he ate one so he can <laughs> eat Tybo. He, he he ate one, I'm sure. That's where he's going to get two. his power to maybe take over Tybo here. So yeah. let's go ahead and jump on over that main tournament screen, get some music playing in that background for you guys, and give them the go. So game one. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, this is baby. why we can't have nice things. Thought you were professional. I am professional. I'm just... It's a new setup for me. Uh, I see how it is. All right, so we are waiting for Snoopy to pick his character. He goes with Nash, the lovely caveman. I'd really like to see kind of a business suit kind of skin to come out for Nash. That would be really cool. Taibo, on the other hand, going with his Hitori that we've seen him use all so often in the past. Well, clearly he saw me kick your ass with Hitori, so he learned from my example. <laughs> so, yeah. Three. Okay. I'm thinking that's where that came one. from. Yeah, yeah. yeah possibly. Yeah. All right, so game one, Snoopy doing a little dance. We are getting... Getting started with MT9 footage of the quarterfinals here. So Schnooby picking up that spear very early. Uh, Taibo with his signature sword. And right there, already bouncing somebody off the wall right there, Schnooby. Oh, Schnooby. Yo, you, 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 do you think he really had that Scooby snack, man? I hope he did, because, <laughs> you know, he's got to pull it out. I know he's kind of nervous, but... Hopefully, uh, maybe yeah. he didn't. So first strike goes to Tybo, and we're only 40 seconds in at this point, and it's a 3-2 game right now. These uh, three-stock games are rather quick from what I've heard from a lot of the top players. The game actually got much faster overnight with that 1.10 update. So Schnooby missing that signature move right there, does get the stomp, but misses the side air, and Tybo punishes him for it. Was everyone else think? Everyone think? Snoopy's gonna do it. 
No, I want Snoopy to do it. I'm always for the underdog. I mean, if you can't be for the underdog, there's not going to be any cool stories. Oh. Beautiful side signature Maybe. coming out of Snoopy right there, putting Tybo in the red, but beautiful combo from Tybo. So right now, I mean, he does have Tybo in the red. Tybo's getting some good combos on him and put Snoopy in the oh. red as well. You think Snoopy Sh Snoopy has a chance here? Oh, Snoopy has a chance. Just hopefully, his Snoopy stacks kicks in and he's ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So both players still in red right now. There's a full stock lead here for Tybo. Beautiful recovery there from Snoopy, going for the lower wall as opposed to the top wall. But Tybo, with that cider, takes it down to a three to one game. It's a bold strategy there. Let's see how it pays out. <laughs> Old strategy. Let's see how it pays out. Snoopy just wants to maybe, you know, make it exciting. Make it exciting. Come yeah, back. We'll, just destroy him. We'll see. We'll it. see. We, we like an underdog story here. Oh, beautiful signature coming out of Snoopy there with Nash. What the hell is Come on, Snoopy. Oh, missed signature there by Tybo. He gets the first hit, but because Snoopy was off the edge, Tybo actually misses that second hit on the on the uh, signature. Snoopy's got it. I got it. I got feeling. <laughs> and, and there it is with the down air. Two, so man. Tybo takes game one, three stocks to none. How do you feel about your Snoopy? Is can only move up from here. Can, can only, only go up from here? Yeah. Only go up yeah. from here. Awesome. Maybe he's just giving Tybo a false sense of security, so Tybo relaxes a little bit. He's like, I got this. Oh, okay, and okay. he comes back in and just destroys him, baiting him, you know? If but may maybe we'll see Snoopy do that, but we do have Snoopy doubling up on the Hitori here. I am The extra speed, especially the fast weapons that Hitori uses, you think that's actually going to change anything about this matchup here between Tybo Three, and Shinobi? Probably two, a little faster. One, definitely. A little faster. <laughs> Uh, definitely a little faster. I, I agree with that statement. Definitely he's going to be a little bit faster. Yeah, let's see. Swordplay versus uh, Lance. Yeah, and Tybo coming out with that spear right away. Just kind of, you know, putting a bunch of punishment on Snoopy. But Snoopy with that sword, I mean, if you can get inside the spear, it's a little harder to do than, say, get inside the guns. But beautiful signatures there coming out. Snoopy with Snoopy's the side air. back. So, uh, maybe he did try to lie. So, uh, so, so, uh, wow, Psycho Tybo? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was trying to say. Wow, I cannot speak English today. English hard. Yes, it is. So yeah, it does look like Tybo making a little bit of a comeback here on Shinobi. Um Shinobi, beautiful side air right there. Actually puts more damage on Tybo. One of the things to remember here about, uh, about Hattori is Hattori actually has three armor and three force so it's easy to knock a Tori out just like that signature from Snoopy with the lead now over Tybo uh, and it's really hard to knock people out it, it, I'm gonna make a prediction right now Hattori's gonna win hmm. what do you think? Put some money well Hattori just died right but Hattori's still gonna win yeah so an accident there by Snoopy Snoopy actually uh, Hitting that mine with a dive kick. Something you see kind of often from maybe middling tier players, but uh, it, yeah, it, it happens. Yeah, I do it from time to time. I know everybody does it from time to time. It happened a lot in Grand Tournament, you know? You saw a lot of people falling off, hitting things, getting yeah. hit in the face by their own balls. <laughs> Yeah, so we do see sword versus sword right now, and right now Tybo actually with the double down air knocks Snoopy down to one stock at this point. So it is a 2-1 in favor of Tybo right now. I think Snoopy's going to come back and try to make it an even 2-2. Two two. Or two stocks each. Yeah, and right now Snoopy, I mean, I don't know besides you and I if anybody expected him to do good as, you know, the second lowest stock, or no, as a lower stock versus the number one. Okay. So hey, stranger things have happened, you know. Yes, they have. I mean, I've beaten Raven. You know, I almost beat uh, Kurtzberg in a tournament. No one expected Rocky to win, and Rocky came back and. Ooh, won. their beautiful signature from See? Schnubi actually it makes go. it a one-to-one -one game. Though it is a kind of a short stock here for Schnubi as he's already in the. Orange. Hey, it's not the size that matters. It's how you use it. It's the motion. 
Yes. The size of the boats, the motion in the ocean, oh, and there with man. that Player side two, air, man. Tybo takes it. So match one in the books. Tybo's moving on to the semis. Shnoomy, thanks for playing, man. You did a good job against Tybo there in that game too. Even though you did get three stocked in that first game. So that was just some nerves. That was all that was was just nerves, just getting in his own just head. Nerves? I think you think so, if yeah. he wasn't so nervous, he would have actually but Clearly we saw in the second game it was fairly evenly matched. If he didn't uh, down air on the mine, completely different game. Maybe. You know? Maybe. So I mean, so, if only they had five, we could actually see what happened. But yeah. We'll have to wait till the next tournament to see yeah. uh, how it And does. the next tournament is a grand tournament. Yeah. So, all right. So, let's jump on over to that bracket. See if we have an update. And we do have an update. It looks like Truck actually beat out Zelo. So, oh, really? apparently, his, uh, Internet his lag out. issue was resolved and he was able to win two straight games wow. but as you can see Tybo moving on Schnooby sadly falling at this point can't make any more Scooby snack jokes now I well we still can it just won't be relevant <laughs> yeah apparently all right so the next game we are going to see is going to be Exo and Dragon so yeah, let's. Uh, it looks like they're already in this room. So, yeah. So, did anyone actually post that they want to win? I don't think so. I don't see in chat. Yeah. Match two though incoming. All right, so we have Exo and Dragon at this point. Exo going with the Hitori initially, but backing out from it. Roland, we're seeing Roland. Roland nope, just nope. recently nope, nope, got nope, some nope, new nope. signatures. I think he just uh, went back. No. Exo is confusing us. Confusing you? Yeah. Me. So yeah, guys, while we're waiting for them to pick their characters, uh, this is Brawlhalla, Brawlhalla Mini Tournament 9, streaming live to you from Southern California. I'm your host, Compton EMT. This is Ungraded Potential. You can find him on Twitch as ungraded, like you got a bad grade, or you didn't get a grade at all. Uh, potential, both on Twitch and Hitbox. So, on our back end, we do have Disfireco, one of my longtime streaming friends, and we also have Ninja Fans. You guys might know him as Fallen Gaming Channel here on Twitch and over on Hitbox. So that is our full crew for today. Should, should we give a shout out for Ninja? He's mourning the loss of his blow up girlfriend. Oh, his blow up doll? Yeah. Can did I did he leak? run out of patches? Uh, seems like it. He seemed well, kind of sad. He yeah. just said he felt the air in the, uh, tonight. So, yeah. So, Exo casting. Everyone, shout out to uh, Ninja Fans and help him get through the morning of the loss of his girlfriend. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, besides that, <laughs> besides that, uh, another thing we are doing for today is we're helping out Buy No Hat raise some funds for Play Jude, or St. Jude Play Live. So if you actually go down below the stream, you'll actually see a nice little button for St. Jude Play Live. If you want to donate, go ahead and click like that. That'll take you on over to Albino Hat's St. Jude Play Live page where you can donate. They're just going to hate me. But uh, it happens. All right, so <laughs> match number two Three, of the quarterfinals two, here. One, we oh. have Dragon Senpai from Jotunheimer versus Exo from Tech. So a lot of unarmed fighting there coming out initially before Dragon Senpai picks up those guns. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for making Ninja feel a little bit better, better, better yep. about losing yep. his girlfriend. So yeah, it does look like we are getting a little bit of uh, spear versus guns here. Both characters here, Hattori and Ada, can use the spear, but uh, their their difference in weapons is Hattori has the sword and Ada has the guns. So right now, Dragon Senpai in the lead as he does have Exo in red right now, launching him there with a side air. I mean, who? Who's your pick for this time? I'd say uh, maybe Dragon Senpai was the underdog. Is that who you're going to root for? Uh, I'm going to go for Exo this time, but we don't know how my favorites go. So, Woo! and 
its game is no different. <laughs> there goes Exo to a signature from Dragon Senpai's Ada. So right now, one stock up if Dragon Senpai can zone out Exo a bit more, he might actually be able to get a full stock ahead damage-wise. And right now, oh, barely missed that uh, recovery move there on the guns. A lot of edge guarding going on from Exo here with that sword. Uh, yeah, I, what, what do you see? I am seeing a lot of jumping around and air missiles. That's yeah, what I'm seeing. Yeah, and that, that's really kind of one of the big, you know, things about this game. There is a lot of aerial combat. Granted, your your signatures are on the ground. There's a lot of ways to combo people up in the air kick him up in the air. A lot of the movement oh, is done in Exo the air. As, yeah, we see Exo taking out Dragon Senpai there, but he's almost at a short stock already on his second stock. As I said before, it's not the size, it's how you use it. <laughs> it's not the size of the stock you have. How you play. It's, uh, it, it, it's who drops first, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and that's one thing with these three stock games. It, I mean, you... You never really know, because it can go so quick in one direction so fast. I mean, if, if you go down that first stock and then accidentally make a mistake, all of a sudden you're down two stocks and you have one stock left. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, Dragon right now putting more damage on Exo. Exo in the red right now, but getting a nice few hits there on Dragon. Yeah, so Exo's coming back. See? Not the size. So far, at least. What, one good hit, though, from Dragon, and Exo goes flying off the edge. But beautiful down airs there from Exo. Does not get the kill, but uh, not get the KO, but oh, beautiful movement there. Come on back, Exo. Yes. Get that right there. And that is why my favorite is Exo. Well, right that right there, in the 1.10 patch, the devs actually oh. spent a lot of time expanding some of the borders as we see Exo go down to his last stock there. So that, that side air that we saw from Dragon, before 1.10, that would have been a KO off the side. Beautiful combo right there off the wall from Exo. Evens it up to 0% damage for both players on their last stock, so... So it looks like the short stock didn't really pay, eh, you know, didn't mean anything. He came back. Now it's even. One to one. <laughs> so how's that book? How's that book going? Uh, it's coming along. Still yeah. Still working on it. So, a couple pages here and there. Yeah, so right now, early damage right now. Dragon Senpai getting the majority of it so far. You can see Exo is actually trying to underspace the guns of Dragon Senpai right now. You know, he might have actually gotten to the point where he's figured out the underspacing for the guns and the timing for Dragon Senpai. Hey, it looks like the chat. Everyone's going for Exo right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Exo, probably the favored player right here just because he was second place in our tournament last weekend for ESL. Beautiful combo there from Exo. Oh, and almost ended it. What? Yeah, and once again, that would have been a KO in any patch prior to this. So that that's opening up of the side, making it a little bit deeper, has already kind of showed, you know, showed its face here in this tournament. But deeper is not always a good thing. You don't always want to go too deep. Never want to go too deep? Never want to go too deep. I, I, I know you never want to go too far full some things, but yeah, well, I didn't know deep was one of those. Uh, it depends. Depends on the situation and your mood. How Beautiful you signature oh, coming out. Dragon Senpai to get the KO oh, wow. and the win in game Ooh. one. So game two incoming, but I mean, yeah, I mean, Clearly. Exo goes down game one. Clearly, I should not be betting in Vegas, because, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, just tell me what you would bet on, and I will bet on the complete opposite thing. And I'll give you my... Well, see, here's the thing. I would bet on the opposite as well, but then it would not work out. Uh, so it looks like 
Dragon Senpai going with the Ada once again, sticking with it. He did get that win over Exo. Exo sticking with the Hitori. Exo at this point actually gets the map pick, so we'll see if we go back to Twilight Grove when we do. This is possibly Exo's Three, favorite map two, to play on. One, I don't know, one. though, with kind of the changes to the borders, one of his big things was that combo you kept seeing him do off of that side island where he would bounce him off the wall and then do a cider out to the side. Since he can't get the quick KO now with the border being expanded, you know, he might have to go back to the drawing board here on what his favorite map is. Still going to be a favorite map regardless if it's too deep or not. But, you know, it's always going to have a special place. You know, Beautiful bomb bounce off that island wall. One of those uh, things that I always loved to do when I was playing a lot. Uh, and this map, just kind of using the walls to bounce stuff. Beautiful dodge by Dragon there. Yeah, it was pretty good. And Exo is a little down in the red right now, but so is Ada, or Dragon. Yeah, I mean, right now, both players in red, a good force move. Will knock either of them out, but Exo getting lucky there, actually hitting the platform as opposed to getting thrown off the edge. Hey, you know what? Better be lucky than good. <laughs> That's my oh, oh man, first that's strike! That goes to Exo this time, doing a little dance there on the stage. Get down tonight. Get down. Oh, sorry. And Dragon Senpai sends it right back. It's, a, it's not a two-stock game at this point. Yeah, not, not in his house, apparently. It is well, a two-stock game. But wouldn't it be Exo's house if you picked the map? Or, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Twilight is kind of Exo's house. Uh, so the dragon's just like pissing his Cheerios? Pretty much? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's okay. pissing all over his doorstep. That's uh, not good. No one likes that. N nobody likes it when you piss on their doorstep? Something no, I know what he did. He left one of those flaming bags of poo on Exo's doorstep last game. Oh, and no one likes that. that that's what it was. And Exo has poo all over his shoes and he's mad now. So, yeah, right now it does look like Exo making a comeback. He does have the damage advantage at this point. And right now, two long-range weapons here with the spear and the guns. Beautiful signature from Dragon there puts a little more damage on Exo. Looks like a uh, Bob wants Dragon to win. Look at him, chanting Bob, uh, Dragon in chat. Oh, Dragon! Magma Bob wants Dragon to win. Well, everybody's got to have a fan, right? Even if it is Magma Bob. And no one wants me as their fan because everyone loses um, their <laughs> fan. So you still going for Exo? So I can put my money on Dragon at this point? Um, I think I may want to switch to keep Dragon. Oh wait, Exo. Keep That's Exo. It. My bad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, another KO there from Exo with that neutral air with the sword. It's so powerful on this level just because the top boundary, even with them, you know, extending oh. it, is still pretty pretty low to the ground. So Dragon there evening it up one to one. It's a one stock kind of affair right here because they, they were they, both at zero damage. They were, they were, and uh, they're coming back. I mean, it's just like the last game. Both parties in the back to one to one. So let's see what happens. See if we're gonna have the same result or different. Oh, we're jumping up around. Oh, he threw his weapon. <laughs> you can't transfer bets after the match has begun. That's what Ninja's saying to you right now. So yeah, Dragon and Exo right now, both in the yellow. It looks like Exo trying to play a bit of footsies there with Dragon Senpai. Gets the better deal of damage there out of that, even though both of them did take damage. Oh. Beautiful combo right there. And Exo kind of taking it to Dragon here. That and is game two. Exo wins. Player two wins. I actually won one. All right, so, so we're going in to your game face, three. Ninja. We're going to a game three. So yeah, one stock, one stock. Let's see how well this goes. You know the nerves are going on right now for both these people. <laughs> they're like jittery, they're like anxious. Kind of like how I'm trying to speak the English language. Yeah, and I mean, Exo Dragon Senpai right here. We'll see what they choose. I'm assuming they're both going to go. Oh, Dragon switching up to Thatch. Oh, that's a bold strategy. And this there. is Dragon's map pick, too, because he lost that last game. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Let's see. Who does everyone think's going to win? Exo Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Or Dragon. Let's see. Oh, Stardust going with Team Tech. Well, knees, it's weak, okay. arms heavy. 
Not everybody can be cool like the Jotunheimer clan. Mm. Wait, I heard it say. I said not everybody can be cool like the Jotunheimer clan. Mm. Alright, so opinion. waiting for game? Looks Did like just Zed bug likes out? Zexa. Yarhar? Oh, looks like Butterfly, but. I think we might have just bugged pirate. out. Did we lag out? No, I think we might have bugged out. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna jump on over to that bracket real quick. Close down Brawlhalla and reopen it. Brian, you want to go ahead and find that uh, game number? Yeah, the game number again for me. It was in Steam Welcome Chat, right? No, I believe it was in uh, Twitch. Oh. Never mind. Direct reconnect. Nice. And this is why the game's awesome. Or it's not going to directly. Custom. Alright, go find that number. Hey, I want to know the number. Want to link it, please. Ninja, give us the number. Yes, Ninja. Ninja, give us the number! Do something, Ninja. Technical difficulties. It's not technical difficulties if it's not our problem? Yes, it's still technical difficulties. Mm. Even if it's not our problem. Um, uh, I'm scrolling up, but I don't see anything. So let's see. There we go, I got it. Alright, let's join and see if that game started. Waiting for game. Still? I think the full game is bugged out. Is anyone actually in the game? I don't know. Let's see if anyone's in. Let's see. Make a game. Join a game. Waiting Watch for it. game. Hmm. I blame Ninja on this one. I blame Ninja too. Yeah. This is Ninja will be our scapegoat for this. Yep. He's always going to be our scapegoat. <laughs> Although, right, so we really shouldn't... Make be... We can't even make a game now. The game's freaking out on us. Yeah. Oh, he... No, it looks like... Uh, Rock did. So maybe it's just you? Maybe it's just Welcome us. To maybe it's the uh, ghost of... Ninja's girlfriend haunting us, making it look bad. Maybe. All right, so we'll be back with the game as quickly as possible. It looks like we're having some issues with Brawlhalla itself. Welcome to Brawlhalla. There we go. Let's go ahead, custom, custom online, join. Waiting for a game. Wow. So yeah, I can't get into that game whatsoever. Hey, uh, Ninja, can you get in? Okay, Modern Shoe can't get in either. What's BMG, please? Welcome to Brawlhalla! What's BMG? Custom! Alright, I can make a game. So, it's something with that game specifically. Oh, it looks like a X01. Oh. oh, well, XL1. Huh. In the sake of time, we're just going to go on with it. Good job, XL. See? Good job. Look. Yeah. yeah. So, my curse is over. Your curse I is win. over. Your curse is over. Yes. So, yes, XO winning that one, even though, sadly, sorry, guys, I'm sorry we did not see Not able to get into the game. So, eh, some, some issues. Custom. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a new room. Oh, thanks, Ninja. What? what? What's thanks? Oh, no, I was asking what BMG was. Oh, uh, Blue Mammoth Games. Alright, so we do have a new room. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the Steam chat for our competitors. Oh, it's, we might have a replay here? Hmm? Dragon Senpai is in the room. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's up to Exo, I guess, since he won. But Zveruktikins joining. Modern Chu joining. Oh. So next match, if we play that next match, should be Shu and Truck. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Truck just left again. 
Maybe this is part of his strategy to this get the guy the, out of the game. This is part of Truck's strategy, yeah. I think. All right, guys. So, Ninja, go ahead and update that bracket while we jump on over and check out this match. So, Modern Shoe in Truck. I mean, Truck, from what you know, actually was having internet issues and was down two games. I do you think he's actually going to make, you know, do with Modern Shoe? Or do you think Modern Shoe is actually going to take him over? Modern Shoe from Tech Clan. I, mean, I don't know. I, first Tech won for me, so should I go with Tech again, or should I try for Tuck Thunders? Hmm. Sorry, Truck Thunders. Tuck Thunders is a whole another game. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Decisions, decisions. It's up to you, man. It looks like Truck Thunder's going with my favorite character, Lord Vrax. Oh, then I clearly can't go for him. Oh, you clearly can't go for Lord Vrax? Nope. Just because nope. he's using my character? Yeah, that's pretty much the main reason why. Well, yeah. it, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like somebody putting teams on. I, I don't know. I set up the rules. I didn't have to change them. You know what, though? Sometimes you're bad. Well, you know what? Sometimes you can just, you know, go away. All right, so Modern cool. Shoe going with Scarlet. Yeah, I'm heading over to Zed shortly for Punch Pie. Yeah, go, go ahead to Zed's for Fine. Punch and Pie. You know. See you. <laughs> so yeah, Truck Thunder's Modern Shoe game one incoming. This is your second match of corner finals. So, so who are you picking, Tech or Truck? Uh, let's see. You sticking with your tech after uh, EXO did good for you? Um, yeah, I really don't know. What do you guys think? You guys help me out here. Who do you guys think is going to win? Tech or truck? Who well, should I'm I going for? opposite of whatever you say. Well, so. clearly you are, but you lost last time, so. Yeah, but I won the first time. You didn't really win the first time. You didn't pick anyone the first yeah, game. That's true. So you're, you're so, right. You're right. I didn't really pick anybody the first game. So maybe you're the one that's bad luck. Wow, what is going on? Did Spectate in the servers really just die? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Because we clearly can't see him. We might need to do this old school where you have to drop out. Hmm. <sighs> maybe. We'll have to wait for the next game. Because hopefully someone can get in contact with him. All right. That's weird. So it was working earlier. Try to try restart. Welcome to Brawlhalla! Play offline? Custom! Take a game? Join a game? Hey, what about Spectre? Isn't there one? What's the game number? I don't know. There it is. I think it's right there. Waiting for game. Hmm, maybe there's a number of people can watch. There's a bug, I think. Hmm. Glad to know that. Spectate! Game's working as intended. This is such a great game. Now I can't make a game. Can't you just do watch game? I'm trying to do join. Yeah, let's try that. Let's, let's try that. Yeah. See? That's why they have a watch button. Sorry, guys, for the technical difficulties here. It looks like there might actually be a bug Welcome in the game with a 1.10. Custom. Let's see. Or it just might be uh, the ID 10T. Uh, no, 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 not the ID 10T. Uh, yeah, so maybe we have to go back to me kicking your ass in the game. No, it's, no, no, no. That's, that's not what we're gonna do. No, you're, you're done with the uh, newbie beating you. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, we are gonna give a quick test here. Yeah, Jail Dragon. Rest in peace, servers. I agree. Rest in peace way. servers. Rest in peace servers. All right, so I am. We're gonna have to do this old-fashioned way. Welcome to Brawlhalla. Offline. Custom. Let's make a game. They're probably playing right now, though. Yeah, I just want to check something real quick. We're okay. in an online game. Somebody jump in this game. They need the number. Well, they have the number. It's on screen. That's only if they're watching. Yeah. yeah. Might wanna say it. Six nine zero two. Six nine. Did you pick that number? Well, you know, if they're playing, I'm gonna be able to drop in the game as well. So, 
let me go ahead and get this set up for our monitor. Okay, we go. And we're gonna do this old fashioned before we had spectate. So. Oh, and smack talk is going in the Twitch chat right now. So yeah, I mean, this isn't normal for Brawlhalla. We don't normally have these types of uh, of issues, but hey, a new patch last night, a new bug found again today. This is um, it's what we do. We're testing closed beta. We found this bug. Yep. Yeah, damn. We're gonna go back to old school next time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So once we know when that game has finished, we're going to go to the old school. So what we used to do before we had our lovely spectate was we just have three people in the game. The spectator, the players, and then the spectator would drop out his three or five stocks. So that's where we're going to have to go since spectate is bugging out at this point. But yeah. Is it sort of like before remote controls when you'd actually glow up and turn the channel? Yeah, yeah, very, very similar, yeah. you know. Yeah, those are bad yeah. days before the internets. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're, we're just waiting to hear if that game finished. Oh, Raiden, you're not washed up. <laughs> Everyone tell Raiden he's not washed up. The washed up people remember this. The washed up... The washed up people will remember too how I used to accidentally every once in a while hit one of the players and then we just have to stop the game altogether and restart it. Yeah, that's just because you're bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. And that's why you're a commentator, not a player. Yeah, yeah. I'm washed up. I'm the most washed up of the washed well, up. Clearly, so. I beat the hell out of you and it's the fourth time I played a game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're yeah, pretty much washed yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. You're like. Apple Maps bad. All right, so Dan from Blue Mammoth said that if they are, they're getting to the bottom of this right now. If they Custom. need to, they're gonna restart the servers and they're gonna let me know. But for now, I'm gonna start a new room. We can get our players back in it, and I'm just gonna sit there with my with my boat var. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna give you an update on that bracket right now. So welcome to Mini Tournament 9 if you're just joining us. We are having a little technical difficulties with the game servers. Uh, Spectate's actually bugging out. We're not able to view games, so we're actually gonna switch over to our old school way of doing it before we had Spectate, which uh, basically is we're gonna load into the game with the players and just drop off. So. With that being said, our tournament bracket here is up on the screen. So we had 15 total players. That first round of 16 players, we didn't cast. We let them kind of play concurrently just for time's sake. So in the quarterfinals, we have had two matches so far. Tybo versus Schnooby. Tybo actually took it in two. The first game being a three-stock win. In the second matchup, we had Exo versus Dragon. Exo ended up winning that on game three. As far as I know, all games went down to the last stock. The match that's currently going on when everything kind of was is bugging out now is Shu, Modern Shu versus Truck, Truck Thunders. They are currently playing a game right now. We're waiting for them to finish up that game and get into this new room, and then we'll get it started and we'll get we'll get more games on channel for you. So let me go ahead and check. Truck Thunder, send message. <laughs> Spectate, bugging out, new game room, doing this old school. So yeah, guys, we're just waiting for that initial game to finish, and then we'll be, uh, We'll be getting on with some more Brawlhalla MT9 action for you. So just kind of uh, Dan from Blue Mammoth Games, the developers here of Brawlhalla, 
looking into it on the back end, seeing what's going on. It does look like American Psycho has joined. So, yeah, guys, if you can watch on Spectate, great. Just to make sure things don't go wrong, I'm going old school with this. So, it's it's just what we got to do. So, yeah, while we're, uh, we're waiting, let's go ahead and watch that intro one more time. All right, guys, we'll be back on the other side of two. Welcome back. So what I heard while we were doing that intro for you guys to give you something to watch, uh, Truck Thunders actually lost two games to none. And we're going to be moving on to the next game, which is going to be Magma versus Verrect. So, yeah, we are going to need Magma and Verrect. Ooh, Magma. I'm gonna have to go with Bob on this one. You're gonna go with Bob? Simply because his name is the Bob. Bob. The Bob. The Bob's gonna win. I don't know Bob. Ah, Bob's gonna win. I don't know Bob. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. Who's with me? Who thinks Bob's gonna win? Hopefully somebody other than me. <laughs> but with my luck today. Verrucked, where are you? Looks like my uh, tech team's winning. Yeah. Your, your tech is your tech's moving. You're a tech fan. I am today. You heard it here today, but you guys, he's a tech fan. So it looks like Magma Bob in the game. So far, my tech boys are coming through. <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting for the Varrock. The Varrock. Tech boys. Tech boys. Tech. Pers yeah, yeah. That's XO. Yeah. Yeah, XO. I'm good at potential likes you guys. I don't know why. Maybe because if this was Vegas, he would have actually won money off of both of the matches that you guys played. So yep. that's probably why he likes you. It's all about money for him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Money makes the world go round. Have you ever seen a sad person with money? I haven't. I think it's against the rules. 
Yeah, so it looks like Verruckt in. We're I doing know. this old school. I know, Bob, but you're my man this match. I'm going for Tech Boys and Bob. Bob Tech. That's my new thing. Bob Tech for the, for the Bob, day. Bob Tech? Bob Tech. Bob Tech. Bob Tech. Don't let me down, Bob. The Bears, the Bulls, the Bears, the Bulls. Mike Dicka. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, guys, we're waiting here for Varuk and Magma Bob. Magma Bob going with his Orion in that meta dev skin. I know you might know it, you might not know it, but Orion, Magma Bob's character. It's a face assumption, or sorry, it's a fair assumption that I have, do not know that. That's fair. All right, so it looks like Varuk going with Ganesh. Or Nash, as most people call I like Ganache. I've, Ganache. I've used Ganache since I started playing this game. Oh, then I like Nash. Yeah. You like Nash just yeah. because? Just because. Oh, I gotta hop off, don't I? Nope. Um, what am I picking? I'm just picking random. You're not on. It's just me. Oh. This is why we kind of... All right, looks like they both want Thunder Guard, so I'll go down to the Thunder Guard too. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to drop out. Once my final stock hits, they can attack. Three, two, one. This is how we did it old school, guys. Sort of like the Bears comment. People probably really would not know what you meant by the Yeah. Bears. Or did There's two. And here comes our last two. Boom, there it is. All right, so Verruckt and Magma Bob right now. Here we go, last game of quarterfinals. We're going to take a quick break after quarterfinals and come back for our semifinal matches, which are going to be five stock matches at that point. Woo. Both are going at it, though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we on, double spear there. Both of these characters do use the spear. Magma Bob's Orion does have the lance, whereas Verruckt's... Uh, his Ganesh has a hammer. So, hammer, lance, people people have been saying lately that the lance kind of OP. Does look like Verruckt with a bad dodge there. Does not make the corner. And it's down 3-2 to two right now, but it's a very short 3 for Magma Bob. True, but, you know, Bob's come through. And that, with that new uh, able to fall through, he's been pretty good with that. Yeah. And as you can see, Magma Bob with that... Uh, that Magma Bolt Lance, just kind of uh, spacing out Verruckt, making sure he doesn't really get in too far. Verruckt, though, knowing that the best way to stop a Lance from what they're doing is to throw stuff at him. Oh, and, and yeah, with, with the scoop, gets the KO. So it's a 2-2 game right now. Very, very low damage there on Verruckt right now. Yeah, Bob's going to hopefully come through. Let's see what happens. Come hey, on, Bob, Bob, you can Bob's do it. your pick, man. Bob's I know, Bob pick. is my pick. Lady. So Bob better come through. Hey, you're, you're two for three right now, so, you know. Okay. The, the first one probably would have paid out like 101, though. So yeah, that's that, That's why you were going for that one, right? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. That was hey, just you, to see you, if the You put $1, a one dollar bet down on 100 to one. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. I, tr I was going for Rocky that one. So that one, I was going for Rocky. Yeah. And besides, you can't go against Scooby Snacks. You have to go for Scooby. Yeah, so we see some shenanigan area fighting there. Verruckt actually gets a nice signature knocking Magma Bob down, and he is out of jumps and cannot recover. So right now, Verruckt in the lead, two to one right now. We'll actually see where this goes. I mean, Magma Bob has in the past been able to overcome kind of a one stock deficit, but Verruckt right now looking very good, especially with that Nash. My phone ringing. <laughs> so yeah, right now Magma going back to kind of that spacing game, you know, using the lance, just kind of keeping Vrucked away. They can't see. No. My bad, guys. Technical difficulties. Alright, so things. now you guys can see. Magma Bob versus Vrucked. Hey, Sorry, at least we had commentary that let you know what's going on. But yeah, right now, Verruckt in danger with the red on his second stock. But he has taken off quite a bit of damage from Magma Bob. So Magma Bob probably sitting at about 100 damage right now. Uh, definitely... I'll actually look at the chat. 
But it's hard when you guys spam everything. All I saw was spam, so. <laughs> All right, so we're down to the last stock. Magma Bob does have a short stock. He is in the light red right now, maybe a little bit past the deep orange. We're gonna see if he can actually pick this up for some corrupt. So a couple of uh, heavy attacks there. And a signature, nice throw. Verrucked kind of stuck on the side. And that's one of those things. That's one of the Ninja and I were actually playing last night. Magma Bob with that throw through the platform. I totally forgot they changed it so you can do that. He actually got a couple of kills because I completely was you know, oblivious to the fact that I could do that even though I already knew. So yeah, Magma Bob kind of spamming some heavies right now. Verrucked with a nice spear attack to knock Magma Bob down. Both players in the red at this point. A good, nice hit with some force will give us the winner of this game. This is game one of your last quarterfinals match. Magma Bob with the recovery move actually knocks Verrucked up in the air quite a bit. Nice throw through the platform, utilizing the ability to do that very much so. And Verrucked kind of sitting in that shenanigan area. I think he wants to pull Magma Bob over, and it really, he got paid very harshly there for sitting in that shenanigan area. So Magma Bob taking game one. We're moving on to game two, guys. I'm excited. You're excited? Hey, Bob won. Hey, Bob yeah. won? I told you. Bob won Bob's that game win. one. Yeah, Bob's my boy. All right, guys. So, yeah. Yeah. Let, let's let's see game two. Looks like they're going to stick Football. with their same characters. Let's make sure we got this. Character swap. Map. From Verrucked. Let's see if they're ready to swap characters. Once again, guys, we are doing this old school just because the spectate mode was bugging out. So, uh. <laughs> Alright. Let's finish. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dan. We'll do it during the break. We are going to take a short break here after we finish these up. I'm going to go ahead and see what they said in chat. Map Kings. I'm assuming no character swap. So we're all going to pick Kings. Okay. Yeah. All right. Kings pass. Here we go. All right, so game two incoming. Rucked versus Magma Bob. So, here we go. Two, and once again, one, those players four. are just going to wait till I kind of, uh, you know, drop out. This is how we used to do it before we had a spectate mode. And once my last stock hits the bottom, that's when they can start fighting. So it usually takes about 15 seconds to get that done. And there they can start. So game two of this last quarterfinal round, Verrucked versus Magma Bob. Magma Bob actually up one game at this point over Verrucked. Woo! Woo! And Verrucked getting up. some good damage on your Magma Bob right now here. Yeah, you know, but I'm sure Bob's gonna come back and do it. Because he's Bob, right? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, almost hit him with a mine. Bob Bob. Come on, Bob. You can do it, Bob. No. Oh, look at me. Threw it and hit him in the head. Ooh. Oh. That oh. was very close to that mine when Verrucked had that side air there on Magma Bob. Very close. lucky he didn't actually trigger that because that would have actually sent him off the top probably. Oh, but oh. he gets a back right now. First strike, Verrucked. 3-2 yeah. game. Verrucked only in the yellow right now. So, I mean, we're looking at maybe 60, 70 damage. Yeah, pretty much. But, uh... It doesn't really matter how much damage he has, it just matters how many times he hits him. Yeah, like you always said, it's not the size of the stock, it's what you do with it, right? Exactly, exactly. Let's see what Bob does with it, though. Right now, he's taking a lot of damage from Varuk. This Varuk did pick this map. He did get map pick on this one because he did lose the last game. This might be his favorite, kind of like the uh, CXO going for Twilight Grove all the time. It seems like he actually knows this map pretty well and is doing really well on it, so... And, oh, um, oh, oh, maybe oh, oh. two stock lead. So we're up 3-1 right now. Verrucked only in kind of the mid-orange range. Does get, you know, 
hit with that mine, so the murder suicide right there from Agamov does not get the kill, but definitely puts puts Ruck into the red. Nice down heavy from Magma Bob. It's not going to be a three stock. No, no, that's a good thing at least. But this yeah. could possibly go to the third game, which is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, it will definitely be exciting going to the third game. And we always love seeing those third game kind of matches because you know that the players are actually very evenly. It's going to be a good game. And right now, so far, we've gotten a pretty kind of seesaw game out of these two players here. I'm kind of interested to see how they're uh, actually feeling right now. See if they're jittery, if they're nervous, or if they're actually in game, in tune with it. Or I bet you right now, Magma Bob, Magma Bob's shaking a little bit. He's like, I went down three one. This is gonna be a little hard. Get but... the whole psychological aspect of it. Yeah, I mean, right now it seems like he's getting over that psychological aspect. I mean, he is down to the red right now, but I mean, in that last stock, he essentially took. You know, a whole stock and a half off the of Verruck right now. I mean, one hit, and it's going to be a one-to-one -one game. Granted, Magma Bob is in the red at this point. So, I mean, yeah, he's doing a good job at coming back at this point. But the question is, can he do it? Especially with Verruck kind of sitting with the hammer there in the shenanigan area. One good recovery grab with that hammer would spell death for Magma Bob at that point. But he did oh, come back. Oh, accident. Oh. Even if Bob doesn't do this, though, it's a psychological win for him. Because yeah. he was down 3 to 1, and you come back, and now it's 1 to 1. Granted, if you lose this, you still have the psychological advantage that you can actually do it. Which, I think, is a good idea. Or a good factor. Yeah, I mean, right now, it's something that Raven and I used to talk about a lot. And he always went with front foot, back foot. So, if you have somebody on the back foot, it's a lot easier to just kind of get damage on them, get KOs. It does look like Vivruck finishes it off Player there, but wins. right now I'd say Magma is on that front foot right now. He so. did he did pull it out, so he did get the psychological victory in this one by bringing it back down to one-to-one, -to -one, but... Bringing it back down the, to one-to-one, -to -one, you know, middle tackles. yellow, you know. Yeah, I mean, Magma Bob did a great job on the last half of his last stock. Three. So it does look like they were saying stuff in chat. Going with Thunderguard. So looks like Magma does want Thunderguard. Let me make sure that we're not going to have any uh, changes. Character changes. Yeah, so, I mean, you're still rooting for, uh, for Oh, of Bob course. Here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bob's going to do it. Of course, yeah. Bob's going to do it. Oh, it looks like Master Zed saying Team Verruck Squad. Squad. All right, so I don't think they're going to be doing uh, character changes. So let's go ahead and get this, uh, this taken care of. All right, so Football. he wants Thunderguard Stadium. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, wait, Where's Verrucked? Uh oh, he chose the wrong one. Oh, and we get Thunderguarded though. Which is a good thing. Yeah, Three, pots and pans, two, we're doing this one, old school. Ball. Yeah, there was a so. bug with the spectator mode. It just kept saying winning for game, wouldn't allow mm -hmm. us in wouldn't allow us into the game to spectate so here we are doing it old school pre-spectate so let's see it all right for Rucked and magma game three last game here of the quarterfinals we'll be taking a break after this so that blue mammoth games can reset the servers and possibly fix our issue with the spectate at this point so yeah, Magma Bob taking game one, Verrucks taking game two, but in that game two, Magma Bob going down 3 1 against Verrucks and having, you know, yellow damage already actually brought it back to a. Oh, and Bob takes the first, one. first yeah. stock. And Magma so, Bob picks up that first strike. Run. So it looks like Bob is right in that wave of coming back from uh, one to three. Yeah, I mean, definitely, it's like we said, Raven used to always talk about it, front foot, back foot. Um, that that back foot, he has definitely put Verruckt on that back foot, even though he lost that game, too. 
Beautiful oh. bomb throw. Oh, and almost back to back throws in the face. Oh, yeah, and this is this is a little bit intense. I mean, both of these characters very well matched up against each other. Ooh, signature coming out of Magma Bob, but not landing. Vrucht, very dangerous and, and mistake. Drops the stock, trying to go underneath and get in that shenanigan area. Yeah. So right now it's a 3-1 the other way. I mean, last game we saw a 3-1 with Magma Bob being the, on the one side, but Magma Bob really coming back. I mean, is this going to be a, a three-stock win here? It's it's starting to see them way, but as we saw last game, we thought it was going to be three nothing, but uh, Magma Bob came back. So can uh, Varuk come back? Yeah, Time will tell. This is the map that Magma Bob picked. I mean, he is apparently very comfortable on this, as we did see a little bit of rollback there. But uh, I mean, this is his map pick. He has the advantage here. There was no character change, so. And it seems like the crowd wants Magma Bob to win. Yeah, Magma Bob definitely a crowd favorite with the fans here of Brawlhalla. Uh, he has placed rather highly in the ranks in rank 1v1 as well as in some previous tournaments. I know I actually played with him in a third place game in one of the mini tournaments as we do see him fall finally to Verrucked. And I actually played him in third place. It was a pretty good game. I ended up beating him. Yeah, yeah. So we are going to see the completion of this match here pretty soon. It does look like Verrucked still on the back foot. Magma Bob misses that the last recovery and does not get the KO right there, but any good forceful hit is going to land Rucked out of the map and out of the match and out of the tournament for that matter. It looks like uh, Ruck did get the kill, so that was a good thing. Good moral victory right there. Didn't go down three yeah, stocks. But at this point, you don't need a moral victory, you need an actual victory. This is like sudden death. Well, yeah, clearly, but going into the main tournament, you know. Any more victories you get will help you in that next turn. Yeah, definitely. So we do see Verrucked go down to Magma Bob there. That's our last quarterfinal game, guys. Yeah, yeah. It looks like I'm at a 75% win. Yeah, you, you are. You're, you're three for four right now. All right, so let's jump on over to the bracket and give you guys an update. So it looks like Ninja hasn't been updating things. Um... But yeah, Chu was over Truck in our last quarterfinal match. Magma just now taking out Verrucked. And our next match after we come back from our break is going to be Tybo versus Exo. So servers will be down for one minute. We're going to, you know, jump back, hit a nice little quick break. Servers are starting. Please wait. Connection to the server has been lost. So, Blue Mammoth Games doing a great thing, getting there, you know, jumping on, getting that server reset. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna jump on over to the BRB once the servers are back up. We'll give you that intro video again, and we'll be back with our EXO versus Tybo match. All right, guys, see you on the other side of this uh, the server reload. <laughs> 